I don't see us as enemies in this. I really see us as a team. Right. Now, we may have disagreements at times, and that's completely okay as part of the exercise. But really, I, I, like I said earlier, Mr. Rogers and Mr. Slaughter shouldn't be on the opposite sides in a sense, if that's what, what I'm getting. We, we should be on the same side because the story of fossil fuels is a story that's almost, that's, that chapter is going to be closed sooner than you think. And we have all these alternatives, and there are so many ways that you can point out we can do this, and we just have to have the political and cultural world to engage in that. And there are, it is, it, from my point of view as a scientist and who has read about this, it's incredibly exciting. I know in the lifetime of my children, they will experience that fossil fuels will be used for anything but burning energy, basically, or producing okay. well, when production. When I went by and talked to the officials at the office, they were surprised I was there. I told them I, I wanted to understand so I would know, you know, what was needed to be done. And they have their jobs, and I get that too. I mean, like just like you have coal, coal miners who have their jobs, but we have to have the vision more importantly than anything else. I mean, there are jobs that can be replaced, and there are plenty of jobs, for example, that has been pointed out uh, in the solar energy, uh, re retrofitting energy. I mean, with wireless technical ecology, you could have the future generation of solar technicians develop, uh, they get their degrees and then go out and do, in conjunction with Georgia Power, put the solar panels, they actually get the money from it. Instead of fighting each other, we should be working together. It's so simple. Yeah, we could do a lot of work in the same direction. And that's where we're going to start.